Hello everybody, I'm Red Chu, and today we're starting a new series for an old childhood favorite of mine, Banjo-Kazooie. It's just like Spyro the Dragon was to me, it was an old childhood game. We're gonna jump into this and play, because I haven't started a new game yet. I have played and tested it out to make sure that everything records properly and the game runs properly and all that stuff, and it should, so that's a good thing. I'm not going to probably make any voiceovers for these characters, so don't expect that. If you do want me to do that, though, let me know in the comments below, or if you don't care, let me know that too, because I need to know once I start making future videos, but for this video, I'm not going to do it. We're just going to walk through these little cutscenes, and I'm not going to voice over anybody, because uh, this dialogue probably going to go too fast, because it's Dinkpot, and this is Grunty, or whatever the witch's name is, let's find out. Yeah, Grunty. But anyway, this game was an old childhood favorite of mine, I never beat it, just like Spyro the Dragon, I never beat it. I did watch my brother beat it, I watched my brother play this game a lot back in the day. I hope that my commentating over this isn't messing up anything for you guys reading this if you want to. If you want to read it, just mute me, I guess. I don't know. But, if I'm bothering you, that is. But anyway, I don't know. She's the prettiest girl. I do like the voices in this. It's just like a gloop, 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 and a yeah. And then you've got Banjo and Kazooie's voice, and I guess 2D has a voice and Bottles has a voice. I'm assuming everything has a voice. Even the magic or the music notes have a voice, and the honeycombs. Everything in the game has a voice. But that's Banjo Kazooie. This is a fantastic game that I haven't played in a long, long time, so I'm really, really excited to get into this game and play, so I hope this cutscene hurries up, because I can't skip it. But there's Bottles, and Tootie is the bear there, is Banjo's sister, I think. Yeah, because her big lazy brother is Banjo. If you guys haven't played this game, there's you really need to sit down and play it yourself, not just watch me play it. But one of these days, get the game, play it, enjoy it. Enjoy its beautiful glory and wake Banjo up just like Kazooie does. There's Grunty on her broomstick. She's flying around like a witch, a wicked witch of the mountain, whatever she is. She's trying to steal Tootie because Tootie is prettier than her and she can't or no, I think she's trying to steal Tootie's beauty. I don't know, we'll find out eventually once we get more into the story. I'm just going off memory. But my memory may be incorrect because it's been quite, quite a while since I played this game or since I've watched anybody play this game. It's been, oh crap, I don't know, years. So basically, Tootie's being kidnapped by Grunty. Kazooie hears it. Banjo's too lazy and too asleep to hear it. Because Banjo's a lazy bear. He's hibernating. Yeah, Banjo, wake up now. I said I wasn't going to do voices, but that wasn't a voice. No, it wasn't a voice. Definitely not a Kazooie voice. There's trouble outside. Banjo, you need to wake up. That witch voice. Now we're into the game, finally we can play, we can jump around, we can do things, but we can't do any maneuvers because we gotta learn them first from bottles here. So let's talk to him real quick. Yeah, I know your bottles, you're the short-sided short -sided mole. Banjo, and my buddy Kazooie on my back. Kazooie's a female, I guess, I always thought Kazooie was a guy, but everybody refers to Kazooie as a she, so I'm assuming that... That's correct, and Kazooie's a she. Maybe later in the game it'll say that she's a she, I don't know. The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. Now, Kazooie is a bit mean, I must say, because she's always insulting everybody. It doesn't matter if it's bottles. She'll insult Banjo, too, I think. She insults everybody. She's not picky, she's not discriminatory. 
Yes, I want you to teach me some basic moves, so I'm gonna hit A. Why don't you shut up? Okay. We'd like some help, Bottles. Do what do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press B to call me. See you soon. All right, so we gotta go stand by his molehills, but we gotta learn the moves first. We don't know how to do the moves, but unless something interesting happens, I'll probably just skip out of this. So I'll see you at some point in the future. At least this game has better camera controls than Spyro does. You can actually use the C buttons to move move the camera around so the left and right triggers. And you can hit the R button. Well, I can't demonstrate it now, but you can hit the R button to show put the camera back behind Banjo. Not show it behind Banjo. So now we're testing out the whacking. <laughs> we gotta beat this carrot up. So let's see. I think we gotta beat another carrot up. Yes, we do. Try another one. But Kazooie wants some moves too, so we can't neglect Kazooie. We gotta give her some moves, Bottles. So what have you got for us? I'll try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find a ball for you to practice on. Who's ball? Ball's an onion. So we run and roll. If I can do it. I can't hit him. There we go, we got him. That time. Give us another one, Bottles. You geek breath. Whatever Kazooie calls you, I don't know. Oops. Why didn't you take him out? Anyway, now it's time for the buzzer to learn a trick. Poor Kazooie's a buzzer. Buzzer. Blah, blah, blah. Squinty called her a buzzer. Jump and B in the air. Now where's Cobbleyweb? Or whatever, Cobbleyweb. I don't know what he called her. So we got that one. Not bad, feather face. So that's essentially what you do. You learn your moves here. If I probably would have hit B, I probably wouldn't have had to learn the moves. I would have just got them automatically, but I don't remember what to do, so it was good for me to learn. And now I probably got to go around and find more molehills to get more moves. Uh, didn't that thing just fall, or did I collect it already? I don't know. I thought something fell there, but I don't see it. I don't know if I already collected it. But let's go on to somewhere else. I keep trying to use the Spyro camera controls, and that's not going to work in this game. This is bringing back a lot of memories for me. I don't know about you guys. If you've never played this game, it's probably not bringing back any memories for you. But, I don't know. It's just a really fun game to me. I don't know if it's just the nostalgia talking or what. I, didn't I already do this? Oh, I didn't hit that one. I didn't see that one. So we got... Yeah, we already collected the other ones. There's one. But anyway, these are extra honeycomb pieces, as this is saying here. Collect six of them to increase your energy bar. <laughs> but this game, as I said just a couple of minutes ago, brings back a lot of memories of me watching my brother play it and me just playing it in general. This was actually the first game that was bought for me for the Nintendo 64, because the Nintendo 64 was my brother's console. So I didn't get to play it a lot. I don't know if anything's up here. But I didn't get to play the game a lot or too much, and I just screwed something up there. I don't remember how you swim faster or anything, but I guess we'll learn it eventually. Let's just go down here for now. Can we collect this stupid honeycomb, please? There we go, we got it. Finally, we've got three honeycomb pieces, so we're just three away from getting another honeycomb thing. So while we're swimming around, we could be doing something else. So let's go do something else, I guess. Well, at least Banjo's not as noisy as the Stranded Deep guy is, because the Stranded Deep guy, as soon as he climbs out of the water, he acts like he hasn't breathed in five years. He's all... <coughs> I hurt my throat doing that, so I'm not going to do that again. <coughs> yeah, my jump could do with some help. Bottle Beak. Bottle Beak. Press A to jump, hold it to jump higher, so we're gonna do that. Okay, that was working. You can give me a hand, feathers. Jump and then press A again in the air for a double jump. Awesome. So, am I st stuck? Oh, I can't move. I guess I just can't move. 
I'm not stuck, they just didn't want me to move in this game, apparently. Not until you learn this one first, you must stand like this. <laughs> oh, Kazooie, you're so mean. You're so mean to poor Bottle, Be Bottle Boy here. I keep wanting to call him Bottle Boy. Ah, uh, crap. I didn't read what... Hold Z, okay. Thank you, because I didn't read what you said originally. Okay. I've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, so I've learned all the basic moves. Let's do this! Now that we know how to jump longer, we can do this. Crap, I almost didn't make it. Because I'm pretty sure there's something over here. Yes, there is. Oh, what is this thing? Look out for me. I'm an extra life. Oh, so we got lives too. Of course we've got lives. What am I talking about? This is an old platform game. Just like Spyro the Dragon, Mario, we have lives. But they probably don't really mean too much. Except if we die, we probably get sent back to the beginning of the game. I don't know. I love the music in this game. It's stuck with me a long time. And I have never forgotten how it goes. Oh, yes, to have it. No, oh, I have it. No, 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 no. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So here's the bottle boy. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. Oh, yeah. Come on, Grunty. I'm going to tackle you down. Fix the bridge so you can cross it. And enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Banjo's the nice one. Kazooie's the mean one. Bottles is just Bottles. So Bottles fixed our little bridge here, so we can go across it. The music. The memories. Oh god. If I start crying, I apologize now. <laughs> Grunty was just over there like, stuck at the machine! Yeah, so that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to steal the beauty from Tootie by making her old and stealing Tootie's youth and making her young again. So I guess that makes her beautiful. And Klungo is going to try this contraption and probably turn Grunty into a chicken. But we'll find out. Here that goes. Here they go. Somebody's going to get turned into a chicken. I just know it. Oh man, that laugh though. So many memories. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Grunty the witch, the rhyming witch of doom. I knew there was something up here, and it's a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are collectible items in the game, even though he's called Mr. G. And now we go find a piece of the busy picture of me, whatever he said. I don't know what he said now. Go. So let's go over here. I know there's a world over here that we have to go to eventually. Uh, so, yeah. I think it's over here. There should be only one missing piece that we need for this one. Or is it this? Oh, it's right here. Okay, but what's over here? Let's look around first. What's in here? This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw picture with an image of this area on it. Have a look around. It can't be far away. And it's not far away because it's right here. So we stand on this platform, presumably. Yes, we do. And then we enter the world shown on the picture. We must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. So we got the first jigsaw piece already from that little thing that we found. And that was all by memory. I didn't remember that it was there except for memory-wise, and then I remembered it was there. And stuff like that, but... Okay, so let's just... Leave. Let's not leave. Let's press A and fill this jigsaw piece up, this puzzle up. And then this mountain opens up and we can go into Mumbo's Mountain next! So let's do that. 
Yeah, it was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. Alright, so we have to find a bunch of other puzzle pieces, presumably, to get to the other worlds, to unlock the other worlds. We can't go up here yet because I believe that we need to have what's-her-faces, Kazooie's walking thing. Yeah, we need Kazooie to walk and I don't ha I don't know how to do that yet. So we'll have to go into Mumbo's Mountain first. But for right now, we aren't going to Mumbo Mountain. We're going to end this episode here because I've been playing for about 27 minutes. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to cut out. I don't want to make it too long, but we got the introduction of Banjo-Kazooie done. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you want me to act in the next episodes. I mean, if you want me to voice act for the characters, if you want me to shut up during their dialogue so you can read it. If you want me to continue talking like I've been talking through the dialogue, all that stuff, let me know. Let me know if you want to see more of the game or not. Let me know other games you want me to play. And if you like this video, slap that like button around a bit with your large trout and share it with your friends because they might like it too. If you want to see more of these videos in the future, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you geese later. Thanks for watching. Game over! Okay, so to reach those wizards, we gotta go over here. And yes, I am kind of using a little guide thing because I don't know what to do. It's been so long since I played it. I haven't played these levels back in the day, so I don't really know what to do too much, so... I've gotta have to use a guide, I guess. For the most part, however, I'm not using a guide. I'm just using common sense and memory, but some of these things are actually pretty difficult to understand, at least for me.